the play address mother as an example. Okay, so you people just identified and we did that in the last class as well, some of the things. So we said, for example, relationships, Uh, transitoriness of life or transitoriness of life or temp you know temporariness of life death I think there's also some form of guilt involved in there, considering yeah, she yeah. never spoke. That's mom's guilt, yeah. Okay, and that that probably is what keeps her quiet all the time. Uh, so guilt could be AIDS, you know, as as a kind of uh, stigma. Morality, yes. Yes. Morality uh, is also one of the themes. Okay. So, one, two, I think they should come together. Transitoriness of life and death. Stigma associated with AIDS. With AIDS and guilt, morality. So when we talk about relationships, uh, it could be like, uh, okay, it can stay here. But when we talk about guilt, we can also talk about unacceptability and you know notions of that kind. Okay. So we have. Uh, We have five themes over here. And we can relate those themes with the literary elements in the in the play too. Okay. So relationships can emerge from uh, dialogues. We can explain through the dialogues how uh, characters talk about their relationships. And then uh, this can come from symbols. Uh, this can come from characters. And uh, this can come from silence. You know, silence is also a theme in the play. Okay, but it is a it's a kind of literary elements. Uh, it's kind of literary element as well. So I would say silence of the character, again, mom's character. Uh, then morality comes from the setting uh, as well, but then dialogues too. Because they refer to Pope and, you know, uh, the, the, the and they are, of course, this is the setting of uh, what we call Funeral, right? So funeral itself is uh, is a kind of uh, uh, example of uh, you know uh, adhering to moral values, where uh, where you uh, give a nice uh, you know uh, goodbye to the departed soul. So the practice of funeral itself is. Uh, the practice of funeral itself is uh, is is a uh, is an occasion to think of morality, especially because we we are we are aware of the you know uh, the 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 sexual preferences which uh, Andre had and which his mom did not approve, right? So will a character with that sexual orientation? Will an individual 
of that kind still be approved by uh, and condoned by uh, by Christian values, right? Pope, access to Pope, okay? By Christian values, so that is a moral question, okay? And uh, the setting of funeral makes us think of that. All right. Now these are the themes, okay? And these are the first thing that we come across uh, in the play, right? And we identify them. And before them, of course, we have done reading one, two, and three. So it is reading three level of reading three, where you identify the literary elements, and you read, you kind of write what we call it exploratory writing, okay? That is the stage of exploratory writing, reading three, okay? That is where you identify the themes. So you have to do these three levels of reading in order to be able to identify the themes, right? Okay, now we come to the uh, thesis statement. So for based upon these themes and based upon our reading of the text, we can draw the uh, thesis statement like this. Okay, now this is thesis statement, the play and this mother questions the moral code of American culture of 1980s. So we pointed out to the date when uh, the year when the play was written. Okay, and uh, we noticed through the themes in the play that uh, the the mother stands for the overall parental expectations about their kids to follow certain nature of relationships to abide by certain standards of relationships and to abide by certain way of life the parental expectations which come from the overall culture from the society we can also use the expression moral code of uh, New York's culture, okay? But I think American culture should work just fine too. So she uh, stands for those parental expectations. And the whole play is based on that. Everything else comes under it. Right? Now, this is the thesis statement, but this is not the only thesis statement. The only uh, uh, standard that I kept in my mind was, while writing this statement, was that the thesis statement should connect all these themes together. Right? Of course, this should be relevant to the play. Okay? It should be relevant to the play and it should connect all these themes together. So when you write a thesis statement like this, you are in a position to use explanation of each of these themes to reinforce this thesis statement. So this is the thesis statement. Now you can take theme one. 
which is relationship. Now, these are just notes, students. This is not how you will write the text, OK? Uh, these are just notes. So for the relationship, you can write that the play spotlights the unconventional relationships that uh, I think uh, that character's name is Carl, right? Carl. That the friend, Andrew's friend is Carl, right? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. That Andre and Carl had before Andre's death. Now, this is the first paragraph I'm writing. Oh, well, this is the first theme I'm writing about, OK? But I need to write it in such a manner that it should reinforce the thesis statement. Now, my topic sentence for the first theme can be, the play spotlights the unconventional relationships that Andre and Cal had before Andre's death. Okay. It appears that in American culture, the non straight relations were not accepted, or maybe you can say are still not accepted. Uh, relations were not accepted. The writer has. Uh, exposed the dis uh, should I say disappointment right now? No, uh, has exposed the tensions which uh, which the unaccepted relations. might have within the families. Okay, so they, we, we see that there is some tension between. We get to know about that tension through, uh, through the dialogues among characters. So if you go back to the play, you might notice that right in the beginning of the play, when the characters are talking to each other, they are trying to uh, point out that uh, the mom and this mother is not ready to uh, get entertainment. Uh, get entertained by any kind of uh, joke or non-serious talk. So, uh, so one of the characters, for example, says that uh, maybe she is not ready for that yet. Okay, and then they change the topic. Uh, so, reference, in fact, was to to Andrea's uh, sexual orientation. Right? They were going to talk about that, then but then then they stopped talking about that. Okay. So you might quote those lines over here in order to uh, provide evidence from the text. So we get to know about that tension through the dialogues among characters. And then over here, you can quote those specific lines from the play itself. And this way, you are done with theme one. And then you can move on to theme two, which is Transitiveness of life and death, the symbols. Okay, theme three, four, and five. So you should have a topic sentence. You should have some explanation about it in terms of from where this theme came from, the literary element, and then an 
uh, you know an evidence from the text and then you move on to theme 2 theme 3 theme 4 theme 5 like this okay now as i told you it is just uh, you know uh, these are just notes so thesis statement does not stand alone it is important to understand the structure of the essay the structure is very common structure that you are already aware of uh, it's not included there because it's not included in the presentation okay i assume you already know that but i can write it once again over here so you will have the introduction and then body and then conclusion right in the body of the interpretive essay you have themes in the introduction you will have thesis statement and in the conclusion you will have reaffirming sorry reaffirming the thesis statement now when you write the thesis statement you are supposed to provide you, you are supposed to introduce the thesis statement as well so this is a paragraph one paragraph okay this is one paragraph this i would say are probably five to seven paragraphs and this is one paragraph again right so the play and his mother questions the moral code of american culture of 1980s so when i wrote this line i i gave you some explanation about that okay you can write that explanation over here too okay so for example you can explain a few things from uh, what i what i wrote over here okay so for example you can say that we see in the play that characters are so remember to stick to thesis statement okay once you write your thesis statement stick to that and over and over again keep thesis statement in your mind okay don't start anything new after you decide a thesis statement okay so for example in my second line of the first paragraph over here i will keep unpacking explaining what i already wrote okay so we see in the play that characters are uh, involved in moral indecisiveness about about uh, the nature of relationships especially we observe how the parental expectations face disappointment when their parents or when their children fail to meet the moral standards set by the sorry set by the culture right so you notice that i i use the word moral uh moral standards right moral indecisiveness again and again because that exactly i am i am supposed to talk about once i decide that this is going to be my thesis statement so all the subsequent sentences in your thesis statement should be an explanation of make your reader understand what do you need by, mean by this thesis statement okay so remember that your thesis statement doesn't have to be very obvious 
So I told you, and it is a common practice to write this statement after you identify the themes, because that way you will be able to think something which is beyond the obvious reading of the text. So if you go this way, that is you first read the text, you understand it, then you identify its themes, then you will have a superior perspective, you know, a kind of uh, unusual perspective about the text in the form of your thesis statement, right? And that will make you stand apart from those people who read that text for the first time. So they will read your interpretive essay and they, they will immediately say, okay, you have a deeper understanding of the text, right? So, but the, so the deeper understanding actually comes from uh, deeper reading of the text. And this is a strategy for deeper reading of the text, right? Read level one, read level two, read level three, identify the themes, and then sit back, give yourself some time, and think of a broader thesis statement which can accommodate and cover all the themes, which can knit together all the themes, okay? So that is why I told